Is that the great artwork? Yeah. Yeah. Some in. You're right, there are tons of bicycles now in Cambridge. It's great, really. And because it's not warm out there, so I imagine what it would be like in summertime. Why would you spend a lot of money on cycle cars? Fantastic. Thank you for turning the car around. Okay. Look, look, see? Otherwise, it would have been like a silhouette. I'm going to go through this Daily Mail article. It was just like basically every kind of misinformed, bad conclusion that they could come to. Sorry for the car noises in the background. Not electric car noises, I might add. Very disappointing. Um, but yeah, so this whole article is about how electric cars are not as green as people think apparently according to the daily mail and although it sounds like i'm singling them out i'm not really this is the kind of thing that i have heard from so many different people over the years it's always nonsense so here are the headlines p100d not less produces more co2 than a petrol driven mitsubishi mirage that doesn't really surprise me because you know it's a model s and a mitsubishi mirage is like quite a bit smaller so you know if you compare it to an appropriate car, like an A7 or something, this is another one that I find hilarious, right? Half of electricity comes from power stations that burn fossil fuels, such as coal. Okay, fine, but these power stations are more efficient than everybody having their own small-scale power station in the front of the car, and even if they weren't, you've got quite a large proportion of renewables and people that have EVs and drive EVs are much more likely to have renewables like solar on their roof or something and as if that wasn't enough they're also far more likely to pay a little bit extra to get green electricity like for example from Ecotricity. Now yes I plug my car in it's taking energy from the grid but if you look at the extreme example where everybody is buying only the green electricity then the cost for fossil fuel electricity would be zero okay oh it's another one here we go so the nickel in batteries is very polluting to mine you go down here a little bit more and it compares the mining of resources for a battery with fossil fuels which is mental because once you burn your fossil fuel, it's gone. You've got to remine it. Whereas once you've built your battery, you can actually just recycle the materials that are in that battery. You only need to add new materials into the process in that stage where you're building a big base of batteries installed around the you know, globe in cars and houses. Once you've got that, you don't need to mine anymore. I think another key point is, even if you have an electric vehicle that is plugged into a grid mix of power and they're getting mainly coal and oil and gas and all that sort of bad stuff there's nothing to say that in the next five years that it's grid won't become cleaner if it becomes 10 percent cleaner then your car the becomes first, 10 the two cleaner I didn't know it's the same that one. is not something because that you the can, two locomotives you know, are do in front with of a it. petrol engine or a diesel engine How they're going tell? to be Left because they're, they're, one, one of them is longer. Line. They have the and same numbers. The same, and no, no, you can't even see that.